So yeah, we're at the final boss. We're at the final boss. It's either going to go okay or we're going to struggle and today might not be the finale. Um, but we'll just have to see what happens, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, it's really weird. Like, we patched the game yesterday. And when I patched the game, um, or not patched, you know, like updated on Steam. And then like when I signed in, it was like, it was like unable to log in. I was like, okay, sure. And now today it's like, it's like invalid activity or some shit. Whatever that's about. Like, I don't give a fuck. After, after this, I'm not playing this game again, so we're good. Quick! Summon! Yes, hit my friend. Hey, 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 hey! Ah, I missed. Oh my god, get away from me. for me, nerd. Oh my god. Ah! No, I was I was good. <laughs> I got flicked in the dick, man. What else is good, Mr. Astonish? <clears throat> ah, shit. Here goes Mr. Astonish again with his compliments. Ah, fuck. Everybody, get down. All right, let's do this again. I love that I have just enough time to summon something. I rolled too soon. Leave my friend alone! Ow! The back of the head, really? Alright, so I'm sure you're aware by now, I'm very impatiently trying to get back to the second phase. Because yesterday, yesterday I played this boss fight for shits and giggles and we ended up beating the first phase, uh, first try. And then I immediately got steamrolled in the second phase because I was like, well... Is there enough room to do it? No, probably not. Yep. I rolled too soon again, dude. Wait, I took damage. I better get back. Ah! Not again. Bonk him. Bonk him. Bonk him.
Mr. Astonish, thank you for the double gomba. Much appreciated. <sighs> all right, all right. It does suck how long it takes to get back here though. Each and every time. Ah, get out of the menu. Get out of the menu. <laughs> no, I'm half dead already. Ow. Okay, rude. Ah, my body. What? You gotta stop doing that, like. <laughs> Which is gasp? Yes. Okay. All right. <sighs> I hear a gasp and I think there's something wrong. Except it's usually just the dog being a dickhead. I did stop. There's something wrong with him. It's not like life and death, you know? So did he have a good time? Bad boy, but someone needed to come in. Okay. I, I have no fucking idea why she parks in the driveway. Uh, like, I, I don't know why she parks in the driveway of the apartment building. It stops everyone from coming down. Or up. Yeah, well, it was the chick I was Yeah, I know, but it's, it's my mom's doing. But yeah, like, it's the same sort of thing as, like, when, when, you know, people go to a restaurant and then move all the tables around. Okay, never mind. I'll just yeah. talk to myself. <laughs> I understand. Okay. I wouldn't move tables unless I asked. Yeah, no, no, it's just one of those things. And then, like, all the staff now, instead of being able to walk between the tables, they have to get to your joint table and then walk around the whole thing. Well, Oh, don't, no, I mean, don't feel bad for her doing, like, you know what I mean? Anyway, let's actually try to beat the Elden Lord, right? Am I right, everybody? I always forget that explodes. Yo, B-Tap, thanks for the raid. Aw, oh, dude, I'm so boned. Let's just healy wheely. How was your stream, dude? That hit me as well. Oh, too soon. Gonna get back and heal. 
<laughs> okay, well, good thing I healed, I guess. What? Oh. Oh, he changed! Oh, that- I rolled back into it. That was really stupid. I'm like pressing the right buttons, but I'm getting scammed out of my rolls. Wow, dude, I have no heals left. Ugh. Oh my god, stop, dude. Just stop. The last time, the last time we beat him, I had like seven heals left. <sighs> anyway, you're playing Blasphemous? Is Blasphemous a platformer or am I mistaking it with something else? But I'm glad you had fun. But I'm trying to think of what Blasphemous is, and I don't think I've seen it. Or I've seen it, but I never learned the name. Okay, let's do this again. It should be fine. He jumps up and does his spear thing. And then I roll late. And then get hit by the explosion, because I forget about it. Stop it. Stop it. Just... <laughs> I see glowing yellow, and as you saw just then, glowing yellow was throw spear. So here I am waiting for him to throw the spear, and he's just like, Nah, man, I'm going to explode right in front of you. Uh, it's just the... Attacks that look too similar, I just can't read them, dude. It's the tree sentinel all over again with its overhead swing. I ran out of stamina that time, I'm pretty sure. Because the goal was to run back a little bit and then roll as he flew towards me. <sighs> but what I probably should have done is not run and then just wait for him to fly towards me. I just, I try to give myself more distance so I have more time to react. But at the cost of stamina, it kind of scams you, so. It's simple. All we have to do is like the first battle yesterday. Oh my god. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it! Go away! Hey, thanks for going for my other dude.
Ah, oh, fuck. Too soon. Cheers. Okay. Stop. Come on, other dude, hit him. Too soon again. Ugh. Please go for my other dude. Thank you. Oh my god. The idea was there, the execution wasn't. Whew. So what can I do to improve this? Um, <laughs> okay, for shits and giggles, let, let's do the rot knife. <laughs> Just for shits and giggles, let's do the rot knife. <laughs> Yo Netu, thank you for the raid. What's up? Howdy howdy, and hi Grom as well, and Subzina, Aeteron. How was your stream? What were you playing today? Oops. And uh, welcome, we're doing Elden Ring. We're at the end of Elden Ring. Hopefully today is the end. Uh, this is a meme attempt where I'm playing with a rot knife. So let's just see what happens. Okay. Yay, meme attempts! <laughs> you were doing some Chrono Trigger? Nice! Chrono Trigger has been around for a long time, and I still haven't played it. But I know that people love it a lot. And I do like that it has a frog in it. Thank you, Kiyoshiro. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of where I am with games like Chrono Trigger. I start things and then never finish them. Like basically any RPG. The character's name is actually Frog, isn't it? Like it's a frog called Frog. Okay, do 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 do. Fuck. Ah, he's after me. Oh, lordy. Ah, oh, crap, am I dead? That's really bad for me, actually. Fuck. Alright, let's heal. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna target the boss this time. I think I'm just gonna run at him and sm uh, slash. Hi, friend.
Okay, where's he gone? <laughs> where's he gone? I can't see him. Oh, hello. Wait, hold on. Ah, my body. I should have targeted. I can't see anything. Uh, okay, I'll target next time. <laughs> I had no visibility on what was coming. <laughs> In my head, I was just like, eh, it's a big boss. You know, as long as I can see its body, I can just keep smacking it. But, you know, if it teleports to the other side of the screen, uh, and then <laughs> I have no idea where, then it becomes an issue, doesn't it? Hi Audrey, how's it going? Okay, so let's try this again. Ah, you, you never do that! D Fuck, you got us both. You're crazy, man. Ah! Lay off, man! I just need, like, I just need, like, a small window where my summon hits the boss, so then he stops going for me. Because I'm okay with, like, getting chip damage in and, like, bouncing around and stuff, but what I'm really bad at is, um, uh, I guess, getting, um, getting intimidated. That's the wrong word, but I know what I mean. Dude, rainy season's the best season. It's like a perfect excuse to not go out. Nah. Okay. Ugh. I rolled way too soon. You had to go out today? Well, I mean, shit. We can't say that that's the rainy season's fault. Alrighty. away from me dude oh yeah that's right it still erupts okay let's back up I'm gonna say straight up, teleporting is fucking low, bro. Stop it! I'm just trying to heal! That was sad. Whee! Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
Yeah, I guess I can't say much. Like, the storms in Perth are basically like... If your outdoor furniture tips over, then it was probably pretty significant. Ah! Since when do you do that? <laughs> oh no! Help! Okay, how can I... How can I improve this situation? Because basically, I need... I need to be doing chip damage. I need to be doing chip damage so that my other dude can get the black flame off without taking damage. Like, the black flame is the thing doing all the damage. This way! Okay, I rolled, but sure. Go off. Now. I keep forgetting that that attack is going to do a shockwave. I should be running toward the boss. Or I should be healing. But either way... That strategy is, is sound right there. We just got the boss down to half by barely doing anything. Like the only thing I serve as is a distraction so that the boss can like try to hit me while the other, while the summon is like doing all the work. That's why we did the whole quest line so that I didn't have to work hard now. All I gotta do is roll around. I forgot about the shockwave. Damn, you scammed me. The only thing I don't like about my Electo Summon is that it, it moves around a lot, like it moves in like a, a half circle kind of pattern. And so what tends to happen is I try to be, I try to be in a position where I can see my summon and then attack the boss, but because of the half circle dealio, if I see my summon, it quickly like flies around to where I am and then suddenly we both take damage and it's like, man, fuck you, your AI sucks. Like, that was a good attempt. We got the boss down to about, well, just over halfway without healing. <sighs> Thanks, the cannons. I had a lot of fun playing this game casually. 
It's my first FromSoft game, um, and I enjoyed it so much that I had to bring it here too. Okay, let's go again. Woo! Nope. Eh. Okay. Ah. Stop it! I did nothing wrong! Worth it. <laughs> Except it wasn't. Oh, Lordy. Alright, I've got no heals left. That sucks. Wow, the reach on that, dude. Die! <laughs> uh, this sucks. I lost so many heals to that. Alright, so we'll... I'll lock on and just hope for the best, man. Whee! The fire! The fire! Oh, I'm in there. Okay. GG. Okay, so I, I now see what happened that... Um, I, I see what happened that happened the first time we got there. When I lock on and I get too close, it targets the head, which then means that my camera looks straight up and I can't see anything anymore. Um, so that's what sucks about targeting the boss. Like, it doesn't seem like there's any solution to that. It's just dog shit targeting the same as the, uh, the fire giant. drop base but it's on the front of my cab and I don't want to have to keep tapping on the front of my cab every time I, w I need to look at something. Oh fuck's sake. Like Elden Ring's aiming system is just clunky as hell. It's so annoying having to be like target, change target. Like <laughs> I don't know man. I don't have a better solution for it. Um, but what I do know is that any time anytime that I would reach forward to try and change target and then it didn't give it to me, I would get I would get annoyed. So I don't want to fuck with that. I don't like that it auto targets something else once the target you had 
goes off screen. Ah, too soon again. The classic. Okay. Oh, it's already half. Fuck. Get me out of that ring, dude. Ah, dude, dude. I should have healed there, dude. I really should have healed there. That was dumb. I was just getting some distance because I was hoping that either it, like he would fly at me with his punch or he would jump up and throw the slow spear. But he went for the triple. So can't do much about that. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, I gotta keep my distance again. Shockwaves. Why'd you target me? <laughs> so stupid. I was going in for the kill shot and he was like, eh. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Let's go!
Ah. Okay, all right, cool, 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 cool. We don't need to see. We don't need to see. We just need to hit. All right. Oh, boy. My camera. I can't see anything. Okay, we good? Ow, 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 my body, my body. <laughs> God damn it, man. <sighs> All right, it was a solid attempt. So I think I need to consider myself lucky or unlucky, depending on how you look at it. But when I when I played this casually, uh, I didn't even encounter half of those attacks. So, <laughs> so that sucks. That sucks. But what are you going to do? Let's get in there again. Maybe I should use the rot knife on it. Probably not. Hi, Nike. Damn, too soon. Scam me. Okay. Die! Okay, thank you. <laughs> There we go, that was much better. I think I'll go full health for this. Okay, that was a bit too soon. So how does this ring attack work? I've never dealt with it before. Does it just close in on you and then you have- to oh. Yeah, depth perception ain't really gonna help me here. Hello. I can't see what it's doing. Ah! Help! <laughs> okay, we're good. Help!
does that do? Heal. Ah, ah, ah. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, not more rings, dude. I'm playing Elden Ring, not fucking... I don't know, something else to do with rings. Ring Fit Adventure. Ah, oh, fuck. I still don't know how that attack works. Ah! Oh, I was healing. You ho-bag, what were you doing? <laughs> I was healing. What was that nonsense? All right, we're gonna gut this dude with the rot knife. When we kill the first boss, I'm gonna get the rot knife out and we're just gonna geek, 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 geek. Actually, is Elden, uh, is the Elden Beast, um, can it be rotted? I assume it can. I gotta fight you again. You're annoying. In fact, I tried rolling forward into that. I tried rolling forward into that so that I could maybe get out of the attack and keep wailing on him, but I guess not. Oh well. Okay, well this isn't going so well. What is my homie doing? My homie's done nothing. Ugh. my body. Oh. oh wait, get me out of there. There you go.
right? He's probably going to be mad about that, so I'm going to get away. Okay, let's try Rot Knife. Ah, eh. oh, my body. Yeah, so the initial flame probably didn't do me any favors. If I didn't get hit by the flame, then I would have had a, a bit more of a health bar to work with. I think this boss is fine. I haven't, I haven't felt cheated by anything. The only thing that sucks about the Elden Beast is that locking onto it is so painful. Ow! No! Leave my summon alone! Why did you move to me, you stupid fuck? We're a team! Jesus, man. Alright, we'll pass on the rot knife. Okay, my, my homie is almost dead. So, I don't think this attempt's gonna go too well. Awesome, man. I wish I had more camera control than that, but sure, go off. Ah, oh, my dude's dead. Oh, 
Oh, that hit me? Okay. That hit me too! Oh, and that finished me off. Great. Well done. <sighs> the moves are so, like, deliberate. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's just, it's there. It's just the translation from, like, what I want to do to it actually happening in the game. And it, there is a bit of a delay with it. Have I tried playing with a sorcerer? I did, but it was the most boring thing I've ever done. Um, so I kind of stopped. Yeah, sorcerer, sorcerer was basically just get good spell and then stand at a distance and win. Have a good one, Mr. Astonish. Oh, lordy. You take care, dude. Hit him! How did he heal? What? How the fuck did he heal? Does he have an attack that heals? Damage? Question mark? I... What is this as hack, dude? I don't know. I wish the camera wasn't so dog shit there so I could actually see what happens. Okay, so when he stands there doing nothing, that's probably when I'm about to get sniped. That was my fault, but that was a decent effort. Do you mind if I go for like 10 more minutes? <laughs> I would definitely like to finish this game today. I think I'll try, I'll try like one or maybe two more attempts um, getting to the, the Elden Lord, Elden Beast, and then I'll call it um, 
call it there. I think it's only a matter of time more than anything. I'm, I'm definitely not being careful. And I've got nothing against that. Oh my god, that takes so long. Thanks, man. Okay, thanks, man. Okay, thanks, man. Anything else? You want to keep taking my flasks? Just once, I wish I could, like, dodge that stomp. Okay. This shit again. Alright, well there go all my heels. Thanks, buddy. Awesome. <laughs> I at least would have liked the kill, you know? That was, that was just, that was just sad. I whiffed like every shot, every dodge that I tried to do through the stomp didn't happen. All I know is that if I keep like, if I keep pushing, um, if I keep bush, uh, pushing, I can get a stagger, which lets me take off like a quarter of their health. Soon again. Ow. Ow. Oh, not this again. Oh, fuck you. Jesus Christ. A good attempt. 
What happened to it? Leave me alone! You still went for me? Fucking God! God, this sucks. What's, um, what's the timing on that attack? Because the first time I rolled at the same time as the slash, and then I got hit by a shockwave afterwards. So that time I delayed my roll and I died. Um, so, <laughs> so I don't know what the timing is. Good stomp again. I have to stop rolling forward into it because that ring also kills you. So I have to like get back but then get forward. I don't know. So does this dude just heal if I don't attack him for a while? Or is he just constantly healing and I never noticed? Dude. Ah, oh, straight away. Stop. 
Huh. So delayed. Yay! <laughs> that boss has 21 different attacks. Yeah, but my question was does it constantly heal? Is healing one of its attacks? Fire, 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 fire. Okay. Well, that didn't go for me. <sighs> the rings. All right. I can't see! I will... Okay. Alright, solid attempt. Uh, so I guess, um, I guess we'll leave that for Thursday's stream then. Uh, so today wasn't the finale, get debated everybody. But we'll be back on Thursday to try again. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye. All right. Now, before we jump into the final boss fight, I think what I'll do is uh, we'll do what we should have done when I first got here. I said I would, and then I never did. Uh, we're going to go around and grab a couple of sacred tears from a, a couple of uh, sites, I guess. Um, and I made a list of a bunch of them so that I don't have to go aimlessly wandering. So, let's see. The first one we're going to go to is in... I don't actually know where they are. I've just got like a little dot on the map. So we're going to go to Snowland. Uh, which is... Which is... Which is... Which is... Here. And I'm just going to try and find the closest one. Hopefully. Which uh, should be right near the boss fight. I think. Yeah. Yeah, so so foot of the forge, and then it should be pretty much to the left of that. Playing some Cuphead since DLC releases next week. I'm trying to get this done so that we can smoothly transition over to Cuphead. Because um, I'm, I'm definitely interested in doing that myself. Um, but yeah. But yeah, feeling, feeling like shit kind of sucks, but it happens every now and then. I mean, it happens when you don't get a good night's sleep. And it's, on, honestly, it's just good not to fight it, you know? I'd rather just... Excuse me? <laughs> I'd rather just, um, I'd rather just, like, go at half pace for a day instead of trying to, like, do what I normally would. Invaded. I don't want to be invaded. I want to get my item and leave. All right, we got my sacred tear.
All right, all right. You know what? Come here. Ah, they know how to fight. I don't know how to fight. Okay, you good? Stop it. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah, all right, all right, yeah, all right, yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking forward to Cuphead. I used to speedrun it on pad way back in the day. And then, well, I mean, you guys all know my feelings about how the Cuphead speedrun scene changed for the worse. And so I didn't didn't do it anymore. Wait, I got my secret tier, so I don't need to fight that guy. I don't, I don't care about that guy. Although, actually, if I get a decent number of runes, maybe it is worth doing. Because I definitely wasn't expecting to be ambushed there. So let's try that again. <laughs> I should have got on my horse. Looks like there's a lot of blood stains here. People don't have a good time against this dude. Oh, it's here. Oh, you dodged straight away, huh? Yeah, you're not the only one that can do it. Stop. You know, I'm just going to slash whenever he comes close. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, he just rolls into me. <laughs> GG. What do I get? 11,000? That's not much. Oh well, we got some more stuff, so I guess that's cool. You think you came here after Cuphead time? Yeah, Cuphead time was uh, well, pretty much just after the game came out, so 2017, 2018 or so. Um, and I mean, it was fun, but once once the whole run became like a massive auto scroller, it was just <sighs> I don't know. It just it just lost all of its appeal to me. Uh, and then you know, Celeste came out, and Mario Odyssey came out, and that's kind of where everything went from there. Uh, let's go, let's go with flasks. And increase. Cool. How many of these do I have? Right, none. <laughs> so now that that one's out of the way, where's the next one? Okay, apparently the next one's in Kaled. I think I've already got it though, but we'll try. So Kaled, and it's kind of like to the right of the swamp, like immediately right of the swamp. King arrived, King arrived, King arrived, we woke King Stair. These are not in very good places. Yo, the Raxor, thank you for the 22 months of subscribing, my dude. I appreciate that a lot. How are you doing? Alright, I'm just gonna go here and I'll make my way around. Because clearly I don't have the thing that I was expecting to... Well, I, I, I don't have any grace things around there. You guys remember that stream where I just went around killing dragons? That was a good time. Okay, so the swamp's down here. So what I want to be doing is just going around to the right of the swamp. This is a... Uh, yeah, the map is down there, and then those birds are there, so I've got to be careful here. So I'm heading in the right direction, but I'm going to follow the road. Man, stomach bugs suck. One thing they don't tell you about getting older is that, like, suddenly everything gives you acid reflux. And it's like, oh... 
Good. All those foods I used to enjoy, gone. It sucks, dude. Like, like, if... If I'm not careful... If I'm not careful and I eat the wrong type of onion, then suddenly, like... I don't know, I can't, I can't sleep on one side because otherwise I'm gonna be burping all night. Or like, you know, burping, a, a, being a byproduct of feeling like I'm gonna vomit all night. And it sucks. And there's so many foods that trigger it as well. Like, chocolate's one of them. Uh, but there's no way they're gonna stop me from eating chocolate. So... <laughs> so, you just kind of have to pick your battles, you have to pick your portions. You have to be strategic about the time of day that you eat it, and then what you eat after it. I actually haven't vomited since I was a teenager. Um, so... I'll take your word for it. Wait, is that the church up there? Have I already done this? Okay, I've already done this one. So that one's no good. Alright, so let's try... Yeah, the church to the right is what I've already done. Uh, so we're gonna go Atlas Plateau, which I, st <laughs> I still didn't get the map for, so this kind of sucks. Uh, but it's... Yeah, it's... it's it's here. It's to the left. Oh yeah, man. Vegemite's really good for, like, when you feel sick. Yeah, it's funny you say that, Woods Pixel. Um, that is probably the, uh, the, the last time I vomited. I got a migraine while I was in high school. Um, and it was the sort of thing where, you know, your, your vision gets really, like, splotchy and, like, flickery. I think they're called optic migraines. I got one of those. And instead of going home, you know, I was young and I didn't like being a bother to anyone. So I just kind of stuck it out. And so I had a migraine all day. <laughs> and then... And then when I finally went home... I threw up in my nan's car when she picked me up. <laughs> uh. And that was the last time I vomited. Hey, 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 you leave me alone. I'm investigating. But with your migraines, is it like a tension thing? Because I, I know that like, especially with art, like posture and everything matters so much. And even if you do have good posture, like just the, the repeated strain can eventually lead to migraines or... In my case, um, I used to space out a lot when I used to draw stuff. So that's partially why I don't draw things anymore. Okay, so apparently this is nothing, which is fine. I wasn't really expecting there to be anything here. Neat little area, though. Get it mostly in the mornings. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. I definitely get tension headaches though. Um, so with like housework, there's very specific things that I just refuse to do. Uh, one of them being vacuuming because like I get tension in, in my neck and shoulders. So the constant like pushing of the, uh, of the vacuum cleaner across the floor just like gives me a headache and puts me out for the day. Um, so I, I, I don't do that. We have a Roomba that goes around the house instead. Um, and I guess you could say, like, the same thing for sweeping and, and every other thing that's similar. 
but but yeah it, it does suck it does suck it's just one of those things where like you have to you have to i guess balance whether you want to have a dusty floor or if you want to have a headache okay, it looks like i went too far oh and it's up on the cliff too so that doesn't help so what i want to do is go back the way i came and then go up the cliff Oh, I think that's it over there. And maybe I already got this one. If it's the really yellow one, I think I already got this one. Uh, how do I get up here? Never mind, I have to follow the road back this way. <laughs> God damn it. I'll get it, man. I'll get it. I wouldn't rule it out, like being linked to your teeth as well, because clenching your teeth means it tightens your jaw, and tightening your jaw means it tightens your neck. And like, because your neck and shoulders are the things that like, support your head more than anything, if they start overcompensating, then like, other parts of your body, or sorry, if they, if they start getting tired, then other parts of your body have to overcompensate for it. Um, and then that's when like, th that's when everything just snowballs and becomes crappy. Like, if you go to a physiotherapist, they'll tell you all of that stuff. It's just, it's really hard to... It's really hard to maintain a discipline. Oh my god, it's even higher up? How do I get up there? I have to follow that road. Damn it. I have to follow that road from the top. Um, okay. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Let's see. I guess it's the Windmill Village one I want. I Means I have to go all the way around, though, so that kind of sucks. Okay, no, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I need to go menu and then horse. And then from here, I'll just look at which way I'm facing. I'm facing the way I want to go. Cool. Don't kill me. Thank you. But, um... You guys would have seen over the last, I, I guess, few months, actually since the start of this year, the, the nature of my streams has changed a lot. And, you know, viewership has kind of suffered because of it, but it's important that I'm doing what I'm doing. Uh, and a big part of that change is that I'm trying to put less of a strain on my body. But also, I've been trying to build my body up a little more so that I can support what I'm doing a little better. So that's why we've been tearing up in the dance games. Because the dance games is like, you know, that's all the fitness and the, uh, the cardio exercise that we need. Um, and I'm doing less speedrunning because the speedrunning side of it is the stuff that's putting me in awkward positions for prolonged periods of time. Uh, so if you guys remember Splatoon, where, like, to do a squid jump, I would have to hold up and down on the left pad, and then I would have to smack the, the right pad with my hand while looking at the screen, right? So I'm facing this way. I'm... Hold on, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm facing this way, like, smacking the ground with my neck turned 90 degrees, looking at the screen. And stuff like that just hurts you. After a long period of time, it hurts you. And like speedrunning Celeste, speedrunning Mario 64, all of those games, they, they, they suffer from the same issue, which is that you have to prolong, you, you have to prolong the action for long periods of time. The thing about dance games is that the song will last for a couple of minutes and then stop, but also you're constantly shifting your body and if you need to, oh, hold on, I didn't realize there was a guardian here. Ah! No, this is bad. Not another Electo, dude. 
rare stuff. There we go. I knew I could take him. What do I get? Another 10,000. Woo! We got the Black Knight. Neat. So what is this? Because I thought I was approaching the church, but this doesn't look like a church. Where am I? I'm just going to go down here to get the grace, and then I'll come back up. But yeah, so, so moral of the story is, even though viewership is suffering and all of that jazz, uh, I'm feeling a lot better physically and mentally, which is making... Ah. Oh, it's, it's making streaming a lot more enjoyable, you know? And playing something like Elden Ring at the end of a dance game session, like, there's no pressure for me to do anything in this game. I'm just, I'm just playing it. And I don't care if I win or lose. I'm just having a nice time. Like it does suck on one hand, just watching like the viewership go down and the, the revenue and all of that stuff go down. But then I also have to factor in that I'm doing game dev instead of like focusing solely on streaming as a hobby. And so eventually the game dev stuff is going to pay off. And then once we come out of it, it's going to be me as a streamer with a game where not only do I get to stream anything, well, anything that I want, I can also chat with people that might be streaming my game as well. So, I don't know, that makes my life a little more interesting at least. Okay, so I have to go right from here. Oh, these are just graves. Oh, wait, no, no, no. There's a... Cool. Okay, let's pick up the golden runes, because it's free XP. Woods Pixel, have you been enjoying Elden Ring so far? Because I know that you started playing it recently. What I'll say is that if you're having a bad time, then just try to scope out all of these grave sites because they pretty much just give you free levels. And they're everywhere, like. So you may as well. Alright, am I gonna get raided by anyone? Take that. I'll take that. Thank you, thank you. Oh shit, well you're doing pretty good then. Like in order to kill Margit, I, <laughs> I, I went and, I went and did some really stupid stuff, because uh, I'd already played casually, so I knew where there were like some good grinding spots and uh, and stuff like that. So like I traveled halfway across the map to kill a dragon that doesn't fight back, and then get like a hundred thousand runes, then I overleveled and then went back to Margit. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I think I was like level 38 or something. Huh, interesting. It's okay. Actually, I'm about to beat the game, so that doesn't even matter to me. Oh, and there's the other church, the yellow one. Or am I mistaken? Is this a different church? 
Okay, well, I can't look anyway because there's too much stuff going on. But I think this is the other yellow church that I went to before. Oh, get out of here, dude. I don't want to talk to you. Oh, wait, this is the same church. I just went in a big circle. Ah, crap. Live! Live! Uh, no! Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> yeah, everything's good. Uh, can I go on the map now? Sick. So now that I've got that, let's go to the next one. The next one, I already have, so that's fine. And the last one is the Church of Inhibition, which is uh, in Leonor of the Lakes. So let's go there. And I'm pretty sure I didn't even go anywhere on the right-hand side. Yeah, speaks for itself. Oh wait, unless... That's Bellum Church. Okay, I'll go to Bellum Church. And then we'll go down from there. Oh, actually. How do I get to you? Uh, I'm gonna have to go to the base of the thing, dude. Man, okay, it's fine. Okay, we'll go here, and then we'll follow the path all the way up to the top. Yeah, understandable. Understandable. When I, when I was pushing for partner, uh, I was doing all sorts of stuff uh, relative, or relevant to the, the kind of content that I was doing. So, like, I was doing dance pad speedruns of, like, Mario Sunshine and 64 and, like, all sorts of... All sorts of different categories and challenges and stuff like that. Wait, hang on, I've confused myself. Okay, I need to go up here and right. Yeah, and I think I think I announced my successful partnership during a Mario Sunshine run. Uh, which was fun. But I will say, and <laughs> I'm sure everyone does it, but once I got partner, I, <laughs> I pretty much just stopped what I was doing. I was like, you know what? I finally get to have a break. And I had a break, and it was good. Okay, fire mages. Alright, am I going the right way, first of all? Yes. Second of all... I need to go up again, I think. Because that's not where I need to go. <sighs> okay, good. We can go up here. There's the church. There's some grace. You actually want to stream more? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, if you're enjoying it, why wouldn't you? My issue is that I'm too... I'm too goal-oriented. And I'm the sort of person where once I hit a milestone, that's my excuse to stop. Um, and that's why... That's why with a lot of games, I struggle with playing DLC, especially years after the games come out. Because in my eyes and in my head, I've already beat the game. And so there's like, there's no value in, in going back to it. Um, the only exceptions have been like Celeste. And I guess soon it will be Cuphead. But most other games, like once I beat them, even if I haven't done 
or even if there's DLC, I usually won't touch it. Is this the one where I, I get the, the thingy? Gold sewing needle. This, this is the wrong church. No, this is the one with the turtle. I don't want this one. God damn. Okay. Okay, it's even further up the hill. Shit, man. That one. Okay, that's the, yeah, that's the dude. Alright, well, I'm lost. <laughs> I'm lost. Man, this thing goes a long way up. All right, let's keep going. Oh, that was high. Yeah, old palace ruins. Uh, it's this area with all the minotaurs. Gotcha. Don't really remember my way through here. This is fine. Hopefully this path lets me get up there. This is where I'm going to find out that I probably would have been better off going from the other direction. Because this whole area is just a big cliff. Well, silver lining is that I already have a grace site there. I don't remember when or how, but that's actually huge. So when I go here... I at least should be able to see myself on the map. There we go. Oh, it's the frenzied flame? Oh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. This area sucks, but okay. This is the uh, this is the Eye of Sauron area. Wait, I didn't pick Bellum Highway. Excuse you. Oh, I guess that's just part of it. All right, fair enough. But yeah, there's the Eye of Sauron doing what it does best. So what I want to do is go through this village full of people that are all crazy. They've got the frenzied flame. And there's a back... Yeah, there's a, a, a back hill here. And then there's the church. Easy peasy. Oh good, I'm gonna get invaded. Well, I'm gonna go and get my tier before I get invaded then. 
JK, I'll fight them. Hi, friend! Man, you attack slower than I do. You don't have a chance. Hey, 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 hey. Alright, I stand corrected. You've got the madness. Uh-oh. Oh, you healed too? Well, aren't you fancy? Jesus, dude. Dude's crazy. And he's dead. <laughs> Good god, dude. Okay, we've got a fingerprint grape. And a war spear. Cool, cool, cool. Church of Inhibition, there it is. We're gonna to touch grass, and then grab the sacred tear. Good stuff. Okay, let's level up our flask. Oh, it actually has notifications now to show you that you can do it. That's cute. So this won't work anymore? Cool. All right, how are we doing on XP? We've got 24,000. How much do I need to finish? 72,000. I don't think I have 50,000 worth of runes just laying around in my inventory. Um, what do we got? I think that's worth 20,000. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I mean, hell, it's worth a shot. <laughs> it's not like I'm going to be playing this game again after I beat it. So let's go to the round table hold. Which is over here. Eventually. There it goes. So we're going to go to Hugh. We're going to sell all of our crap. Not that one. This one. Hi, buddy. Sell. Okay, that's worth 30,000, so that's a good start. Boom. Get all these out of the way. Six. All right, we're at 69,000. So we pretty much got there. So that's good. That's a pretty good advantage, Arthrex. I wish I had that. Okay, so we'll sell this for a hundred. Blood loss build up. Meh. Nothing. Nothing. And... What was this madness build up? Pretty good, but I don't have the faith. Okay, cool. What else have we got? Sure. And yeah, all knowing helm as well. Okay, 72635. I think that's enough, but just to be safe, I'll sell the festive garb as well. Alright, cool. So, now that we're done with that, now that we're done with that, let's actually fight the final boss again. Landell.
I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this last level up point into strength. <laughs> Just so we have the tiniest bit of extra damage. Um Ah, oh, 871, you motherfucker. I thought I was good. Is there anything I can kill around here? I don't want to go back to the round table. You fucker, dude. All right. That's my fault. That's my fault. I should have double checked. Okay, we'll just go to Limgrave. We'll just kill something real quick. I hope you feel better soon, Arthrex. <laughs> oh my god. This gives you five? Ah, shit. Alright, we'll just go and kill the troll that's down here. Also, what's that? Oh, it's, it's just a reflection. I thought it was a tower. <clears throat> Just ate something wrong. Yeah, that seems to be going around lately. Damn us with our extravagant, uh, extravagant tastes. Yeah, you'll do. Come here. Done. All right. Waste my goddamn time, dude. Wrong button. Level up. So I could have 45. I could have 45 in vigor. So that way it's 45 Vigor and 45 Strength. Or we could go 44 and 46. I'm going to do that. And our final level is 109. Let's go! And honestly, I think I just needed a bit of a mental reset from this boss. So we're coming back with a fresh head. <sighs> Let's go, everybody. Just spent an hour, you know, well rounding my player again instead of rushing into this. And so from here, we're going to spend the next hour trying to win. Whee! You know, I really hate being backed against the wall without knowing I'm against the wall. I didn't know I was stuck there until I went to back roll and I was, I was just rolling in place. But, okay, it happens. I really wanted to see how much I was going to heal there, uh, but I took damage while healing, so... A bit unfortunate. Again with the stomping, huh? Okay. Ah, damn it. He went for the other dude. Of course he did.
Get out of there, dude. Get out of there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we begin again. <laughs> the nonsense begins again. Uh, but all in all, this fight is still going to play out the exact same way. Uh, the only difference um to before is that now when i heal i heal for a bit more and i don't even know how much more if i'm being honest but from what i could tell no, not again yeah, from what I can tell, instead of needing three heals to get to full health, I only need two now. Ow! Okay, GG. And I mean, that's a pretty big difference. But I guess similar to you, Woodpixel, we're just going to have to hope for a good pull. We're just going to have to hope for, like, the perfect luck where the boss stops attacking me at the right time. And then I can get the right hits in. Fourth hit. Oh, my God, dude. Quick, hit him with the red thing. Ah. God damn it. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. Let's go. Let's go. Go, Pinch. What's good?
just need the right things to happen at the right time. I'm trying to stay aggressive because if if I attack aggressively enough, I get a poise break that's just past the halfway point in the fight. And if I get that, the boss staggers and I can deal more damage. But the downside is that it's risky as hell. The stomp, man! I hate it! Okay, cool. Oh man. Oh, thank fuck. GG's. Okay. Doing this already, are we? Welcome back, Kim. Rings already? All right. Oh, Lordy. Well, that worked out semi well. Oh, okay. That surprised me a bit. Uh, this was a mistake. Yeah, whoops. Sorry, my dude. Oh my goodness. Ah, too soon, man. Those attacks are so slow. Those attacks are so slow, man. Still solid effort. I forgot to put my fan on. Whoops. Yeah, the Elden Beast is perfect chaos from Sonic Adventure, and no one can tell me otherwise. Let's fight this dickhead again. Woo!
Đấy. Oh my god, dude. Fuck. Leave me alone. Damn it, dude. Ah! Fucking teleporting head ass. Oh, well, GG. Ooh. This is wild. One of these days, I'll get these buttons the right way around. It's middle, left, left, left again, and then middle, right. Ah! Oh my god, I'm already dead. Good dodges. Ah, oh, the fucking shockwave, dude. The shockwave. What is my dude doing? He's just standing there. My dude has one good attack, and it's the damn black flame attack that just keeps killing the boss. Use it. Use that damn attack. Ugh. Oh, damn it. Right, left, left. time. Whoa, big shockwave. Uh oh. Did you see in the air? Actually, we'll do, uh, let's see a 20 second replay. Like watch what happens when he goes in the air. When he goes in the air, he starts focusing on the other dude, but then back at me, and I didn't know which way he was gonna go. If he goes away from me... Uh-oh. Yeah. If he goes away from me, I Did wanna be away from air? him. Actually, we'll do... Uh, Up the replay. Let's see it. And because he keeps changing targets in the air, it's too hard to tell where he's gonna land.
Ow. Great, the shockwave got me. Ah, good, now I'm dead. I just need that aggressive attack, dude. I mean, you guys saw it too, where I attacked aggressively, he got staggered, and then that was pretty much the end of the fight. dark in here. I don't think I'm beating this today. I'm just gonna say that outright. I need to get way better at the boss. And I think I'm too impatient to. Ah, oh, God. I should have done a heal instead of walking away. <sighs> okay, let's go. I have to remember that every time it does one of the glowing smackdown attacks, there's probably going to be a follow-up.
Fuck. Oh my god, I tried to roll into it. I'm dead. Ugh. I tried to roll into it so that I would be close enough to the attack. No dice. It really does suck how much more difficult this boss becomes once you get to the midpoint. again after he was facing away. Such dickhead moves. Oh my god. Getting out of there, dude. I'll go back to full. time. Ah, oh, what? <laughs> okay. Kill him. Run. <laughs> Get him. Fuck him up. Get him now. All right, GG. GG, it's over. Thank Christ. Bam. We did it. Now we never have to play it again. That was an easy fight, don't you guys think? Don't you guys think that was a really easy fight? Hey, Grace! Alright, GG. So with that, Elden Ring with dance pads is over. We definitely don't need to, uh... Oh, hi! We got the Rani ending as well, wow! There's definitely no extra content in this game that we need to worry about. Were there any bosses that were unworkable? Nah. That's why we beat the game. The battle is over, I see.
Yeah, pretty much Arthrex. I do solemnly swear to every living being and every living soul. Now cometh the age of the stars. A thousand year voyage under the wisdom of the moon. Here beginneth the chill night that encompasses all, reaching the great beyond. into fear, doubt, and loneliness, as the path stretcheth into darkness. Well then, shall we? My fair consort eternal. <laughs> For a second then I thought they needed to blur that. Getting a little scared. GG! And I got a new achievement because I didn't actually watch that ending last time I did the quest. It's done! It's done. Uh, cool. So that's Elden Ring. Um, I got no further comments. I sunk over 200 hours into the game across like three different playthroughs. One of them casual, one of them dance pads, and one of them out of boredom. Uh, and the one that I did out of boredom was the most boring one. So I stopped. But that was a good game. That was my first FromSoft game. Uh, and I don't know if I want to play others because I might be too used to a bunch of things in this game that the others don't have. Um, so I might just play FromSoft games moving forward instead of back. But who knows, maybe I'll play Dark Souls 3 or Bloodborne or something at some point. Because what else am I going to do now that we're done with this?